Alex Risk is the CEO of Pro Hospitality Group, which is a group of 10 hotel properties, and it's valued around $100 million. His newest hotel is called the Lexi Hotel, which is Vegas's newest hotel. It's off the strip on Sahara Avenue, and it is being billed as the city's first cannabis-friendly hotel. The Lexi's interesting because it's the only hotel right now that is allowing people to smoke marijuana on some of the floors. Adult use cannabis is legal in Nevada, but casinos are federally regulated, and on the federal level, cannabis is still a Schedule One substance. It's still completely banned. So there can be no marijuana use that's condoned by any casino hotel in the city. What's interesting about the Lexi is that it's not a casino hotel. It's just a boutique hotel. It's rather small with 64 rooms. But the Lexi has come out and said, we have a fourth floor, we put air filtration systems there, and that's where guests can smoke or consume cannabis. In a town like Las Vegas, people kind of assume, you know, it's known as Sin City. It assumes there's no rules. It's actually a highly regulated city. There's a lot of rules, and even these casinos, they're very strict. Right now, there are no consumption lounges that are licensed and operating in the city. So as a tourist, you can go to the many dispensaries, but there's no place to consume. So what Risk did is he decided he would open this hotel and kind of put himself out there in a gray area, admittedly, and say, we're gonna allow paying guests to smoke in their hotel rooms. So when you look at it from that angle, it, it, it's interesting. It's, you know, he's kind of has a very measured cowboy mentality where his hotel isn't licensed for any cannabis activity at all. And he just owns the property and deciding this is what he wants to do. What we're trying to be is really cannabis inclusive, which is not cannabis centric. And we are a fun boutique hotel that is focused on well-being and cannabis is part of it. At the moment, the laws don't allow us to have public consumption, whether it be in the lounge, by the pool, the restaurants and whatnot. So what we are able to do at the moment is uh, allowing consumption of cannabis in your, the privacy of your own room. The uh, soon to be very famous fourth floor is where uh, we allow uh, the consumption of cannabis into the privacy of your own rooms. Uh, we try to have fun a little bit with it. So all of our fourth floor rooms are 420 and are numbered 420 a, B, C, and so forth. Risk came on my radar because the Artisan Hotel, which is what the Lexi was before renovations, was kind of this old, kind of funky, eclectic hotel. It was actually known at the, the last part of its life as a place you could, parties could rent it for $7,300, all 64 rooms. And it became known in the local scene as kind of a hotel that would host sex parties. It sold for $12 million and the guy who bought it was Alex Risk. I've never heard of him before. He runs an outfit called Pro Hospitality Group. They raise some money, buy these standalone hotels, and then bring them new life. So when someone I didn't know bought a hotel in Vegas, I decided to find out, and Risk has a, a really fascinating background. I'm originally from Montreal, Canada. I used to be a military officer up in Canada for eight years plus, and I moved to Phoenix uh, 17 years ago. And then two years ago, uh, after, after COVID, we were trying to really try to find ways specifically for one of the hotels we own in downtown Phoenix, the Clarendon Hotel, which is a historical boutique, really funky hotel in Phoenix. Uh, we were trying to spruce up our sales and go back to pre-COVID uh, performances. And in November 2020, uh, recreational cannabis became legal in Arizona. And uh, we were approached by groups that wanted to do cannabis friendly events. So we hired attorneys, we, we met with the cities, we tried to making sure that what we could put together was actually legal. We did, we navigated those uh, legal structures and we found out that it was a niche that was in demand and it was something that people wanted. They have a members only lounge where you could bring your own pot and you can smoke, you can vape, you can imbibe however you want. Then they have these rooftop parties, which are private events. They do THC infused dinners. 
that took off and it started doing well, so he decided to do it with a second property. So Risk looked at the map and saw that the Artisan Hotel in Vegas was up for sale and he bought it for $12 million. They put a couple million in for renovation, so he's like all in for 15 million and he is kind of the only game in town when it comes to a place being cannabis friendly in Vegas. In Arizona, a property owner can allow or prohibit cannabis consumption. So he's like squarely in the law, the law is very well defined and they navigate that very well. In Las Vegas, they can't do that. They can't allow smoking in a lounge because it's considered public. And the kind of gray area is like, what happens in your room? Is that a private residence? The law in Nevada is actually quite gray. It's, a, it's, it's kind of up for debate. And um, talking to the cannabis regulators, they say it's out of their jurisdiction because they only deal with licensed cannabis facilities. He's not a licensed cannabis facility. So it's just an interesting story about an entrepreneur um, kind of going out on a limb. The next thing to look out for at the Lexi and with risk is how the hotel evolves. You know, he wants it to become more like his Arizona property where there's a members only smoking lounge. Right now you can't do that at his property and the only way he could is if state law is changed. So Risk said that's his next step. You know, he's got the hotel open now. They're going to be about 85% capacity for the foreseeable future, which is great for a new property, especially off the strip. And now he wants to kind of take the concept a little further and we will see what happens at the state law level. The laws of recreational cannabis are very, very young. So those law evolved or they will evolve and our goal is to be at the forefront of, of uh, these laws. We're trying to work with our attorneys and, and some lobbying firm in order to try to uh, approach the authorities and try to change certain of those definitions not only for us but for the, the whole industry in general and try to see if we can meet them in the middle and try to make it a win-win for everyone. <laughs>